Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. <laughs> so today I want to discuss, I'm actually kind of irritated with this topic, but I feel like it needs to be discussed. Topic of today is, do not post all of your personal information on social media. All right, so welcome back. First of all, let me just say I'm so very proud to announce that my online course is just about complete. The topic is create your dream romantic relationship by becoming the best woman you can be. I cannot wait for it to help, if not all of you, even more of you. <laughs> right? So, of course, as soon as it is available, I will let you guys know. Now, moving on to the topic of today, which is do not post all of your personal information on social media. This really irritates the heck out of me because I have a few reasons. So the very first reason is because no one really cares that much. I know we want to all feel like we are celebrities at some point in some way, but we're not. And even if we are, at least for me, I don't even keep up with the celebrities like that. So I'm definitely not keeping up with everyday Joe like that. As in... I put up a picture of me and my boo, right? As soon as me and my boo get into an argument, I'm putting all of that on social media. Then when we break up, he want ish, he want ish, she want this, she want too much. And then you wonder why people gossiping about you. You are giving them the ammunition. I mean, I thought she was my friend. She talking about me. You gave him the ammunition. To talk about you. People can only talk about what you tell them. What you show them in this case on social media. Number two, as I've already been explaining, it is a recipe for disaster for you. I'm not saying that you can never post anything about you and your boo. But let it be sparing. Sparingly. It doesn't have to be every time y'all go out on a date. Every meal y'all share together, y'all lay. I've seen the legs in in like like at a bar or something. You got a leg of you and your boo to show that it's a girl and a guy's leg, and then a picture of y'all drinks. Why? Why? Too much. And then you're not even tagging the person in there because you don't want people to know that the next picture might be of another dude or another chick. Like it's too much. Nobody cares that much. I'm sorry. I got to keep going back to that one. And then you wonder why, I mean, this is just a side note. You might even wonder why you've gotten deleted or blocked. It's too much. You're posting too much. Like, this is a, another side note. I've even seen people post how they didn't went to the bathroom and took a, took a crap. Like, really? That's what we're doing now? It's too much. I don't care about that. Even, even, I mean, I'm not trying to hate on the kids or nothing. But I don't care that you're washing your daughter's hair. Don't care. If it's dirty, wash it. That's what you're supposed to do as the parent. Keep them clean. Don't care that you have to do that. Don't post it. Nobody cares. Again, going back to that. The next thing is that <laughs> most people are so happy that it's you and not them. Yeah, let that sink in. They happy that it's you and it's not them. So we all want to be liked, loved, and understood, but nobody needs to know all of your business, every single detail that's going on in your relationship. We just don't need to know that information. And um, with, with so much going on nowadays where relationships are not lasting, you might even have to go on there and delete all of this person's pictures. Like recently, I just um, seen a girl back from home and uh, on Facebook, because we don't speak, it's just a Facebook friend. And anyway, um, she posted about how she was in love with this one dude, da da da. I mean, picture after picture after picture after picture. They're going after this, they're going after that, going after this. Long story short, then she posted how because her and the guy was seen in pictures and they were like being tagged in each other's pictures, that um, other women were now contacting her saying, good luck with that. He was just at my place. Basically, he was being a hoish man, right? So now she got to deal with all the black backlash from all of the ladies. On top of that, then she had to delete all this stuff, right? And then, honestly, not even trying to hate on her, but that's just like, like my video, jumping from one relationship to the next. A few weeks later, she was in love with this new dude. I'm like, wow, 
this is what we're doing? And again, I don't know you, but you making me judge you by putting all your stuff up on social media. I don't know you like that. We haven't even spoken since high school. I only know you because of Facebook. But I know more of your business because that's what you let me see. That's what you let me know. Anytime you and your boo get into an argument, don't put that on social media. Because as soon as you get over said argument, said whatever you and your boo had going on, your friends remember, your family remember, and they are quick to throw all that stuff in your face about how he or she ain't no good. You need to walk away. I told you so. Dot, 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 dot. Stop giving these people ammunition to use against you. Minimize what you are putting on social media. Then you don't have to worry about so much hate. There's always going to be haters. Haters are motivators, but not in the case of your relationship. Keep it under wraps. Keep it close to the heart. Make it your own. It will be your own. Love you guys. Deuces.